Right guys, back for another Dragon Ball Legends video, and in this one we'll be taking the State Your Wish campaign. Dragon Balls, Shadow Wishes, and everything else that you need to know will be included in this video. And this is pretty much the method that I've been using now for several years. I don't really need to get into contact too many times. The QR codes will be generated pretty much automatically for you. So to begin, there are of course four steps in actually searching for the Dragon Balls. The first step is the Dragon Radar button will appear on your home screen during the event. Essentially, just as soon as you log in on your home screen, Dragon Ball Hunt, click it, and then there you go. Scanning a friend's code. Now, you can do this by hitting the menu button, hit scan, and of course, there are two ways to do this. You can either import a picture or you can scan using your camera. I've always found that importing the picture is slightly easier because you can then screenshot images on your phone and you don't really need to have a secondary monitor. But of course, everyone has their own preferences. As it details here, successfully scan the code to receive an item. You'll get an item chosen randomly from the item search list. Codes can be read up to three times a day. Remember, three times a day. We then have the get your code button. We use that button to generate the code. And then you share your code with all your friends. Remember, the codes expire after 60 minutes. So if you do want to help out a friend, make sure that they're very close by or that they're aware that you're going to send the code over so they can then essentially use your code to get some more items. So this is the item search list. And so we have four Dragon Balls, of course, the three of the Dragon Balls are actually located in a different section of the game, which we'll talk about in a second. We also have a 1000 CC, which I think a lot of people are going to be very excited for. There's sparking medals, there's multi Z power, there's energy, there's skip tickets, and then there's slot removers. As it details here, we can get the two star, the four star and the seven star Dragon Ball from the thanks for four years anniversary special missions. I've actually already made a separate video detailing on how to get those. So if you want to click on that, make sure you do so. And of course, once you collect all seven Dragon Balls, you summon Shenron, very easy to do, and then you make your wish. And of course, they always have this, but there's an augmented reality Shenron, which will just appear pretty much in any one of your rooms. There is also, of course, the limited edition arts card sleeves. Okay, guys, so we've now made our way to this QR generator code website. What I will do is I'll put a link to this website in the comments below. All you have to do at this point is grab three of the friend codes that you've received, put them in each one of these fields, right? Friend code one, friend code two, and then friend code three. Click get QR codes, and then there you are. There's your QR codes. Now, I would probably advise that you hold the image, hit open a new tab, and then you can screenshot the image. And once you have all three of those screenshots, we can then hop back in to Dragon Ball Legends. Okay, so we've now made it back to Dragon Ball Legends. All you have to do at this point is hit Dragon Ball Hunt here. You then hit Scan. Now, because I told you guys to screenshot it, you go ahead and click Picture. If you want to use the camera, go ahead and do so. I've, of course, also made sure the screen is not visible. Now, I'll bring that back. Okay, so we got a bit of energy, which sucks. It is what it is. I would have preferred something else, but let's try again with our second QR code here. And we get a drum roll, please. Chrono Crystals, maybe? We get some more energy, okay. And then our final QR code of the day. I'm expecting crystals. We get skip tickets. And yeah, it's pretty much that simple. You don't really need to rely on a constant request of QR codes from your friends. Now, I do remember these QR codes that you generate yourselves do expire after every 60 minutes so you will have to generate three qr codes every single day so bear that in mind and yeah that's pretty much it remember there's a total of 55 items to grab as of me recording this it's actually the first of june so you have roughly 50 days left so simple math 50 times three gives you 150 items so you could technically leave this i think to the last month and still get this done essentially right because 30 times three is 90 i mean you could leave this what to the last like 20 days yeah 20 times three is 60 so you can leave this to the last 20 days if you wish but i just think it's best to get it done asap now in terms of the shenron wishes themselves there has been no information given out as to what they will be for this year but if we take a look at the previous years we can make a safe assumption that one of the wishes will be 1000 cc another wish will be a random collector's item i believe one time it was a roshi magazine another time it was a pair of jeans there'll be some energy there'll be some zenny there'll be some training items and there'll be other rewards like that so thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace